Greetings family, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is well. In a previous video, I discussed the American descendants of slavery, which was founded by Yvette Carnell and Tone Talks. Okay, and basically this organization initially was geared towards galvanizing the black American population that descended from the plantation experience in America. As of late, another organization has surfaced with basically the same modus operandi. Okay, I'm speaking about Foundational Black American Organization, which was developed by Arik Nasheed. And I would say that both of these organizations have taken on a rather divisive tone in their rhetoric. You know, and in particular, this divisive rhetoric has been aimed and has been promulgated against the descendants of the Caribbean islands and the descendants of the countries in Africa. It's really nonsensical, it's really uncalled for, but many of the influential speakers from the ADOS and FBA movement have actually began to sow the seeds of discord in many of their broadcasts. Ultimately, it only really serves the purpose of dividing the black population for this same election cycle. Because in this election cycle, the black vote is going to prove to be a very um, hotly contested voting bloc. People are going to be pondering left, right, and center. Okay, but in particular, the Foundational Black American Organization recently had a conference and it has come under some criticism by the founder of the American Descendants of Slavery. Okay. Yvette Carnell is calling the conference a meet and greet. She is saying that never in her years of attending conferences has she ever seen a conference that lasted for three hours. Okay. She is saying that she's never seen a conference in which the speakers are contradicting each other you know and prior to the conference there's been heavy speculation that the funds that are being raised for the conference will not be utilized judiciously and that the conference itself will not be very impactful okay i i for one you know I've been critical of the xenophobic rhetoric from these organizations, but I think it's encouraging to see that there are even organizations that are concerned with reparations and that are concerned with getting justice for our ancestors. Okay, I happen to be outside of that paradigm in America, but the same can be said of all of our respective black populations. Okay, we all need to continue to lobby for justice for what took place in the period of slavery and even the years following slavery. Okay. But ultimately from all accounts the FBA conference was well attended. Um it was successfully pulled off and concluded without any type of issues. So I would say it was a success, but I think both of these organizations need to go to the drawing board or sit down and have a discussion about consolidating the movement and actually taking a serious look at reparations. Okay, having warring factions will not actually serve the purpose of getting justice. But family, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all these dynamics. One love.